Hi, welcome to the resources right now. So I'm Wally Graham. I'm on the Gold Coast at the Investment Showcase. And I've just caught up with James Chernside, who's Managing Director of Dark Mining. James, welcome to the Roadhouse. It's nice to see you. It's good to see you, Wally. Thanks for having me. It's, it's a pleasure. Uh, couldn't walk past your booth today after your announcement this morning. So uh, uh, let's, let's call them very nice drilling results in your um, project. And look, can, you just, can you just give us an idea of your project, what it is and what the drilling was intended to do? Yeah, absolutely. This is part of a 3,000... Well, the results this morning were three holes of 12 that we just completed last Sunday. Uh, Results and the idea of this program, this phase one of probably four phases in time, um, and the idea of this program was to establish tonnage below surface on the lithium pegmatites on the Dorchap lithium project. All right, so the Dorchap lithium project is that how we say it? Dorchap, yeah. Dorchap, and whereabouts is this? This is in northeast Victoria, up in the high country in the Minamita Valley, uh, near a township called Estale. Um, we've been exploring, well, we first determined there was lithium there in 2016. Uh, we did a, a bit of work on it early, uh, then it went dead with the lithium price collapsing in 2017-18 and then uh, after that it started to pick up. In 2000, last year in July we concluded a joint, a joint venture, a farming joint venture arrangement with SQM uh, who are funding all our Dorchap lithium exploration uh, expenditure. So it, it's been a terrific, that was a real moment for us, uh, joint venturing with the biggest lithium company in the world and they bring with that obviously expertise uh, and between them and us we actually manage the project and between them and us we've uh, come up with a really good long-term substantial um, lithium exploration program. Well uh, SQM they seem to know how to sniff out lithium but if anybody knows how to sniff it out they can, they've got a good nose for it so uh, having them on site is a, a potential joint yeah. partner. Well look it, it was a great validation of the work that we'd done to the point where we started negotiating the deal with them. Um, they're thrilled at, the, at this morning's uh, results. It's very much in line. It's actually gone better than we had expected in terms of identifying tons below surface and that sort of thing. And on top of that, cream on the crop, we had some really nice hits of lithium oxide up to 1.6%. You know, not massive meterage, but the idea of this program really is to establish the tons. So we'll get into the high grade stuff a bit later on. All right, so this the recent drilling did what it was supposed to do, uh, evaluated what you wanted to evaluate. So the next plans? Uh, well, we've got some, we, we've got more pegmatites to um, scope out within the uh, exploration area, which we identified through LIDAR last year, and um, that'll keep us busy for a couple of months, and then we're back on the drill. So we'll do phase two drilling. We've put all our permits uh, applications in for that we need to put a couple of tracks in and things but um, once that once we get the approvals on that we'll be straight back in the field probably doing another 3,000 meters of diamond drilling um, up in the high country in Victoria all right well you know it come once those uh, results are out and then uh, you want to get some more news out and you want to you know shout it from the rooftops come and shout it from the rooftop of the roadhouse thanks very much Wally good on you